What is up everybody, Mana here with your daily StarCraft 2 content, it's time to start the second episode of Mana Units only to Grandmaster. We landed after the placement matches in Platinum 3 with like 3,500 MMR, so I'm expecting quick promotions, let's get the games. Alright, here we go, PvP versus a Diamond player. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy that you guys actually received the video quite well, I got a lot of positive comments, a lot of support and in general, people... Uh, thought that this challenge is going to be excited and I think so too I think there is going to be a lot of potential with this challenge and uh, the games will be crazy I'll, I'll need to figure out the, the build orders the, the units that I want to make in which order there's uh, so many that I can use because in the previous uh, challenges that I was doing like let's say the zealous and the stalkers only I was only allowed to make one unit so so I, I knew exactly what I want to do here I have much more potential much more possibilities with different kinds of units at different times, especially in different matchups as well. For example, in PvP I want to avoid High Templars as much as possible because I will find little to no use with them. If I could be allowed to make Archons with the High Templars, then maybe, maybe I would be making them in PvP. Oh, this smells like a cannon rush. As I'm busy talking, this is a very early probe scout, very early. So this smells like a cannon rush. For sure, right? Why, why did he go here with the probe? Is this? Let's get a second gas. He's not putting any pylons yet. Should I start with double gateway even? I wonder. Oh, he's going double gate. Okay, it's not a counter, so he was just scouting. Okay. I got scared for a moment, like you never know with these people. Oh, it's a single gas though. We can block that gas now. Because of his super early scout, he was not able to afford the second gas immediately. So we're just blocking the second gas for as long as I can. I'll even patrol the probe a bit like this I think that should work <laughs> so he is not able to make a gas until he kills the probe <laughs> look at this he could attack me with this probe hello oh god can I take it I'll take it from him maybe he's expanding we're just dancing okay I don't want to lose this probe it's too important okay he takes a second gas now but that means he will have a very late gas we can start with the sentries he will have enough middles for an expansion, so I'll block the uh, expansion and I'll start with the sentries. Maybe? I should start with a Stargate, because he's not going to have a lot of gas, and then I'll be able to counterattack him with uh, with an Oracle while defending with the sentries. Maybe that would have been better. I need to start Warp Gate. Okay. He's currently boosting out probes, so that means we uh, are not going to be in a threat of attacking. Uh, of being attacked for sh well, I, I don't want to say for sure, but very likely. Oh, I lose. Okay, I will start the forge in case I will be attacked. There's stock is already coming. Okay, I'll need to make more sentries then, and I'll need to expand. This could be a frigate actually. This really could be a frigate since he's not attacking. The Sorry, uh, since he's not attacking the pylon. On the lower instead, he's just going straight up for an attack uh, with the stalker. So I want to uh, scout around with the phoenix, scout, see if there's a proxy gate or something. There's a possibility for that. Oh. Okay, we're blocking the stalker. He's coming up with more stalkers though. He recalls the stalker. He loses both stalkers. Okay. Free gate. Oh, they, oh, this is on the lin. What the hell? Uh, I have cannons on the way though. Okay, that's good. Uh, is this blink or robo? What is this? The cannons are going to be saving me for sure. I, I kind of need to make my sentry. Ah, there's stalkers. Battery robo. Okay, uh, I need to make a target and an, an oracle, I suppose. Robo is going to be so awful for me. He's slowly warping in. I have to kill these. Oh, I failed the force fields. The batteries are going to be extremely hard to deal with. How do I even break through here? I'll need to s uh, snipe these guys. Maybe, actually, I can make them lots of phoenixes now. Phoenixes are going to be great here. Because he's going for robo units. I can already... Ooh. Okay, these are dead. Super battery, please. Okay, that's good. 
Let's uh, start. Okay. Wait, one more cannon. Oh, this is crazy. Man, this is like the things that I was really worried about in this challenge. Just a straight up all in, not not even, you know, not fooling around. I wonder what he's going to use the robotics facility for. I can lift the immortals, which is nice. Or if it's going to be disruptors. What is he going to do? Is he going to just bypass me, maybe? Oh, adepts. Okay, uh, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. He uses F2. He could kill a couple of probes here. Oh, there's an immortal. Ah! Oh! No! My pylon! Live the immortal! Yes! Of course we... Ah! <laughs> Look at the pylon! Yes! <laughs> no way! No way! Oh my god! That was so clutch! That was so incredible clutch! <laughs> that was fantastic! Look at this! Oh, he was trying to... I didn't make a second uh, second pylon, so this was the only pylon that uh, powered all of my buildings. Look at this. Oh my god. So, oh, look at this. So, uh, I need to back off a little bit. Uh, look at this. So he's trying to snipe the pylon, the only pylon that's powering all of my buildings with the immortal. The immortal is the biggest damage dealer. I just used battery overcharge not too long ago, so I have a couple of seconds of, of, uh, of cooldown, so I can uh, overcharge the battery and then heal the pylon. So I only use the battery of the pylon, but the damage is too much, so I need to leave the immortal, the main damage dealer to the pylon, and then he doesn't have enough firepower. There's only a couple of stalkers here with the lifted immortal. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so close. <laughs> what a game. What a game that was. And we get immediately promoted to Platinum 2, I wanna I wanna guess. Okay, Platinum 2 after one game. Well, let's get to game number two. Okay, we have another Protoss versus Protoss on the same map, but it's a different person. Oh, what a, <laughs> that was such a close hold. I think if the pylon dies, like, maybe even if the pylon dies, I can still somewhat defend, but just uh, saving the pylon itself, I think, makes for such a great hold. That he couldn't break it. Let's see if this guy is going to be all in as well. I really am afraid of the all ins a bit. Like dedicated all ins. Not like, hey, I'm kind of attacking you, but actually expanding at the same time. I think the dedicated all ins are going to be much harder for me. I wanted to make gas, but I didn't even make a gateway yet. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah, I need to figure out a proper build order. I think a double gateway sentry kind of makes sense. Uh, I can use the excess amount of gas that I have for the sentries and the excess amount of minerals for a nexus a bit faster. I think it makes sense. Do you think he, he will think it's a cannon rush? I sent the probe super early. Oh, he's cannon rushing! What? Okay. Uh, cancel. We make a full wall off and we defend this, right? Go here. It's a forge. Okay. I mean, he can't go up the ramp here like I'll just make a cat what like I'll just make a cannon on the ramp like you will not have a high ground vision no am I wrong uh, I'll cancel the second gate a uh, second gas sorry he's already making a cannon this should be in range here for me oh this is fine yeah this is good like this cannon is out of the range and he cannot get uh, the high ground vision Unless he kills the forge before before he kills my uh, before wait what what, what I was trying to say be unless he kills the forge before I get my pylon up uh, my cannon up I should be fine here come and collect this is a big investment for him he needs high ground vision to kill this so this cannon provides me that in the meantime I could respond with a stargate and an oracle and see now his cannons are completely useless so yep. That's nice, but <laughs> I mean, I wanted to say, but this is not very good for me because if you look at if you look at the game, like what do I have to break these cannons with? I, I would need to make a sentry, and I would have to slowly tickle these cannons down. It would take me a long time, but he doesn't know I'm only allowed to make sentries and so on. Like it was. Uh, maybe it wasn't like very playable for for my opponent. He just probably didn't have ga uh, gateway done. Yeah, he didn't even have a gateway done. So yeah, like obviously it was a terrible situation for him. But maybe we could play a bit longer. 
<laughs> it was a, a funny give up moment. It's like, hmm, I don't have a high ground vision. <laughs> All right, we get promoted to platinum one immediately. Let's get to game number three. Oh, a Zerg player. Whew. Okay, so we we had a PVZ before. One PVZ that was, oops, one PVZ that was super close. The very first placement match that I played, and uh, made for an exciting game. And the second PVZ, uh, the guy was called I think Piece of Sheep, and then he responded under under my video as well, that he didn't mind that uh, he played versus me and he actually enjoyed it. It's a very nice mindset by one of my opponents in the previous episode. Let's see what this girl, uh, this Zerg has in store. Like, I, I think in PvP I kind of figured it out. I want to start with the double gateway opener, probably, probably. But in PvZ, I don't think I want sentries that quickly. I think I kind of want to start with a Stargate, start with an Oracle. Because the Oracle gives me the safety from early game attacks from the Zerg while also giving me an ability to expand to the third base. So I think a Stargate is the right thing to do. What is, why is he, what? Hello, I can just pylon block you. Now he doesn't have an expansion. Now he goes to the third base, okay. Let's see, is he making a spawning pool? Probably not. Yeah. Not making one. I can cancel the pylon now. Since he went away with the drone. Let's locate the hatchery. Yeah, I definitely want to start with a Stargate. I think it's a, it's a great idea. Wait, where's the drone going? Is it expanding here? Is this a proxy hatch maybe? No, I think it's just on the linear third here. Okay, the hatchery first after all. So he did delay his hatchery by a lot. Instead of going straight to this position, he didn't take into consideration double hash before pull. I want to say he didn't take into consideration I will delay his hatchery. Oh, it's not double hatch before pull, just triple hatchery. This gives me link rush vibes in the sense that he wants to mass links and try to break through my wall. Stargate is going to be fantastic versus this. Hmm. I think so. Like, th this is what I'm thinking of the moment I see this because with the amount of hatcheries that he's creating so early on, he will have a lot of larva, right? And he wants to sell an idea that, hey, I'm expanding, double expanding, we're in for a macro game. And then, boom, 50 links come to your natural. Let's see if this is going to be the case. I can use Chronobus on my probes now. I'm not in a fret. Now he should be starting link speed. He has mined 100 gas already. But he's not starting it. He's not starting link speed yet. Maybe it is indeed macro. I will make a sentry, but I might just cancel it as well because I need the uh, the gas for an oracle. But one sentry will keep me alive versus the small amount of links that he's most likely going to throw at me. So I it will delay my oracle by a couple of seconds, but at least I will have a sentry already done. As you can see, I don't have 150 gas immediately as target finishes, which should always be the case. Oh, he he's even flying with an overlord here. The sentry will come in handy. I'll put a probe in my wall of now, because I don't have a unit in the wall, and the sentry is here killing the overlord, so... In case he tries to run in with the zerglings now, I'll have a probe to build a building here and complete my wall off, in case of a threat. I want to start an or uh, another oracle, I think. Double oracle, then. Okay, we have a lot of gas. Let's start thinking about the third base. Uh, I would like to have a forge as well, in case... Hmm, in case he is indeed throwing something aggressive. I'm very hesitant about uh, using Chronobus on probes now, because I haven't seen anything. And? It's just drones, okay. Yes, force. Okay. That's a good start. So it is indeed only drones. The second oracle will help me a lot. Maybe even mass oracles in this sense would be the play. Uh, let's start the third base with a cannon. I have very limited amount of... Oh, there's a couple of zerglings coming in. There's a queen outside of the natural. Let's warp in some sentries here defensively. Oh, free queen. Free queen, okay. Oh, he has a spore here. 
Hmm, he has this. He has overlord speed. Okay, so he wants to scout what I'm doing. He wants to scout what I'm doing. Let's get the third base. Go oh, upgrades for the sentries. Right, 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 right. Very important. I suppose I could uh, use the oracles now to decrease his amount of drones. Let's uh, get the third oracle and now try to shift click the drones. There is a spore here, but it's not collecting everything. Oh, he's running away with the drones, which is nice. What is it? Double Evo? Double Evo, okay. That gives me Zergling. Oh! I'm not even close. <laughs> Okay, saturate the gases, please. Please! Jesus, I cannot click. Saturate the gases, thank you very much. Okay, now we have four oracles. Four oracles, one would say. Uh, two probes, too many. I can move out with the sentries now, I think. I have the uh, support with the oracles that I should not lose these sentries, unless he has many roaches. But since he's going double evolution chamber, I wouldn't say he's going to have a lot of roaches at this moment. Let's try thinking about a fourth base. In the meantime, remember we will have a lot of minerals that I wanted to use. Oh, oh, three queens. Okay, nice. Does he have any units whatsoever? Queens. He has only queens, like not even a zergling. There it is. I need to like tuck myself in with the four suits. Maybe go to the run. Oh, he, he has nothing to like. I'll just force him to run. <laughs> he can't go through. He has no roaches. He has no roaches. Oh, I, I messed up the four suit. Oh, he's counter-attacking, isn't he? I need to kill the spore, I think, as well. He's making like uh, I like what he's doing. He's waiting with the Zerg Link. So now he's attacking. I have the Oracle support now. I need to take this place. Oh, I, I, he killed. It. I thought it's only like one Zerg Link. Nice counter-attack the Zerg Links. I have so many minerals. The sentries are working wonders here. Okay. Yeah, this is looking very good. The overlord speed really didn't come in handy for him. He has only zerglings. No roaches whatsoever, that's very interesting. He's waiting to kill these sentries. Can I kill them? Oh, the queen is going to be a bit annoying. I, cannot, I think I need to recall these sentries. Yeah. Cannot do anything here. He has just too much. I can reinforce with more amounts of sentries. Uh, can I save this? Maybe I can save it with force fields. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there's more. He has zero, 0 I killed one of the evolution chambers. I didn't kill the second one. Can definitely use a lot of cannons here to defend. My army is super strong now with the amount of oracles that I have. I shouldn't feel threatened. Oh, what is this? More zerglings, okay. It's spreading out. Let's warp in a sentry here. We killed a lot of drones, but I didn't like, I didn't really destroy him. I should have a good enough army though. If he has no roaches, I should have a good enough army. Hydras. He has no queens here. That's four. Okay. Yeah, we have good upgrades as well. 1-1, one, one, GG. Well played. I like that he GG'd. Well done, Mr. Barcode. Even though he's a Bargo hiding his identity, nobody knows who he is. And he was still a good mother enough to GG. In there. Good job, my, my friend. That was a, an interesting game. And we get promoted to Diamond immediately. After each game, one promotion. That's the way to live. <laughs> Fantastic. Diamond free. Let's get to game number four since the game were quite, quite uh, quick.
Oof, another protest versus protest. And again, this map, like, we are only playing on this map today. What is this? We have an entire new map pool, and today we are only playing on this map. I don't, I don't choose the maps, guys. Blizzard, or the system itself, is choosing the maps. I don't have any maps vetoed. And it's the fourth game in a row that we play on this map. That's... Interesting, but also disappointing. I want to learn the new maps. I want to show you guys the new maps as well and how to play on them But here we are Gresvan will be the cursed map of today's episode, I suppose We'll see how how long it will take To win this game or lose Maybe we'll queue up another one if it's a short one But yeah, in general, I want to Keep my episodes at around like 3 to 4. Okay. Oh, it's a very early probe. Early probe, early probe. That's alarm bells. We know what it means. This is a cannon rush. We know what it means. I mean, it, it could be. But it doesn't have to be. I want to start a fort. Do I want to start a fort? I'm, he's he's not giving me vibes of cannon rush yet. I think it's just a scout. I think it is just a scout. Cannon rush will be too late now. I kind of panicked. It is a gateway, okay. I kind of panicked because of the cannon rush. Oh, he has no gas. Okay, but that's also because of the early scout. But it's alright. He will be making a cybernetic score now. Let's try to block it with the probe. I'm trying to block it. <laughs> okay, I bought myself like, I don't know, three seconds, four seconds with the block. That's really nice. He's not mining his gas fully. While I'm. Oh, 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 he wants to get my. What are you doing, my friend? Hello? He really tried to get my probe. He wants to expand, huh? Oh, he's making a full wall off. So he doesn't want me to block his nexus. That's that's the reason for that, I'm pretty sure. Let's start the Stargate then, since he has a later cybernetic score and only one gateway. There's a nexus. Very smart. Very smart, my friend. Good job. This block was real cool. With the pylon, because otherwise what I would do is go down with the probe and block this nexus, and then he will be infinitely behind. Right now, he's slightly ahead economically. Or will be slightly ahead economically because of the faster nexus. And uh, the inability of me to punish it. That was real cool. Okay, we'll start with... I want to say phoenixes, but oracle would be just fine as well. I don't have that much gas though. Let's see what he started. What did he start with? Is it a stalker? Gateway. Is more gateways? Oh, it's a free gate robot then, no? Hey, do I do I need to be worried? I don't have a pylon. Is he just going to all in me? Like this is a fake expansion. This could be it. Uh, let's make a forge. We need that forge. Like yesterday. Maybe this is all defensive. Because he's still continuously making probes. This is an observer. Okay, observer. Not a warpism, just an observer. So we don't need the force immediately. I will still make a battery in case he wants to be somewhat aggressive. I need to start gases in my natural base. To get my gas going. Second oracle will be done soon. But I need as much gas as possible now. Maybe I will be able to kill like three probes here. But he should be ready with the stalkers in the middle line. Let's see. Oh, he has no battery. Done yet. He saw the Stargate. He saw it miles before that. It's a 4 gate though. Twilight Council. Okay. I could kill some of these probes here, but he shouldn't have anything in the natural as well. Since he didn't have anything in the main. Okay, go back. Second Oracle is out. I'll wait a bit with the second oracle to get more energy so I can start uh, one-shotting probes with both of the oracles. In the meantime, I should be warping some sentries. He's going for four gate blinks now. And he has a battery here. And he will have additional amount of stalkers, so... I definitely need to... get the sentries going. I wonder if sentry and oracle... Uh, maybe phoenixes would be nice. Phoenixes would be nice as well here. Maybe triple oracle is the ma mass amount for me. Let's see, can I start killing some probes here? He has a battery, but he has no stalkers, so we can one-shot the probes. Okay, 
Okay, one of the oracles is out of energy, but he has, yeah, he has very little economy. We could kill these probes as well, but there's just no way that I want to endanger my oracles because he's going for the forgiveness. He cannot really afford the production though. He cannot afford the production of the stalkers now, so I have a lot of time to prepare myself for the potential attack. <laughs> okay, man. Okay, you deserve to be attacked now and destroyed. <laughs> oh, my friend. I mean, you saw the target. Like, he was patrolling with a probe in my main base. He saw the target while it was building, and then he still didn't have anything on time. To defend versus an oracle. He, he even had a stalker, but he didn't even have it in position. Okay, he's gonna get destroyed now. I'm slightly, com uh, slightly, completely supplied, but let's see. He shouldn't. He should have blank, but maybe like six stalkers is the maximum amount, amount that he will have. He has no battery here. He's dead. He's completely dead. Oh, he killed the oracle now. Blink not done yet. Man, Oracle Sentry, what a deadly composition. Guess who kills... Oh, he has Blink now. Yeah, Blink is uh, quite the counter to the force wheels, huh? So he still has a battery here, even a super battery. Uh, we can uh, definitely expand. It does take a lot of attention from me. To attack with this composition, it's very micro intensive. So, I notice that uh, when, I, when I'm attacking so much, I tend to have a lot of uh, resources in my in my bank. Okay, there's not enough energy for for the battery. He still has some probes in the natural, but yeah, the reinforcements are going to be enough for me to deal with. Oh, it's a slow warping, my friend. It's a slow warping. Ay, 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 ay. Save the sentry! No, never mind. Well, these guys are trapped. Oh, recall! <laughs> That's a nice way to save these probes. Okay, we even have the four bases. Zealots? Okay, I mean, zealots are not good versus oracles. We've no. Uh, I'm an expert in zealots. Look at this! How fast these sentries are! Look at this! I can micro against the zealot! Okay, I can kill more probes now. Just make sure to click those probes so they get one shot, otherwise the battery is going to hit it. I suppose this guy will wait for me to kill the buildings. And then he will leave. <laughs> He's upset. I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> I am so sorry. You got wrecked. Look at this. He saw me. He saw me doing everything. Uh, if you look at the, if you look at the vision of my opponent, uh, even a bit sooner. Here, where's his probe? Look at this. He's flying around. He sees the Stargate. He sees it building all the time, and then he still doesn't have units in position. He made a stalker. He goes to the to the main base, which is nice. He doesn't start a battery. The target has been done for like 30 seconds already. He has the money for a battery. He could easily defend the first oracle, but he decides to not defend it. And gets absolutely destroyed by one oracle that was completely spotted. And then he gets upset, so... I mean, what can I say? Alright, and that's going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this Mana Units Only to Grandmaster Challenge episode number 2. We got to Diamond 3. Like, we jumped through the platinum games uh, one after another i got promoted i hope you enjoyed this episode and i wish you a pleasant rest of the day let me know in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content and i'll see you on the next episode have a great rest of the day take care everybody bye bye